Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to integrate the survival system with Invector's third person controller. So I already have the package uh, installed onto um, my assets folder and uh, there are some limitations to this uh, survival system as of today right now and they are stated under the readme which is in survival system invector add-on readme and they are right here but uh anyways so i'm going to show you how to uh, set this up what i'm going to do is i'm on the third person demo scene right now i'm going to create a copy of that scene test scene is what i'm going to name it so now that i'm in test scene what i want to do is I want to go and um, disable the UI and disable the game controller. Then what I want to do is uh, create a new character, so basic locomotion, basic controller. Vbot, uh, I like this one. Animated controller has to be basic locomotion right now. Camera list, third person camera state. Oh, it's created. And then as you can see, it creates another UI. Let's just delete that. And there's another game controller, delete that as well. And then we have a controller here, which I'm going to rotate him and reposition him. So let me get that done real quick. Ah, that looks about right, that's fine. So I'm gonna leave him there. All right, so uh, the first thing you wanna do is once you have this all set up in your uh, hierarchy is uh, you want to go to the third person motor and what you want to do is go into health and stamina and you'll see all these methods here uh, let me fold them you'll see these four methods check health health recovery check stamina stamina recovery we're gonna take those out And then what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go to update motor and take out the uh, method calls. Okay. Now once you've done that, what we're gonna do is um, go into V character. All right. And um, let's see. We have character variables here. So what we want to do is move this region statement right above recovering stamina. We want to take out this header because it is of no use to us. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the readme and you're going to uh, look at this section. So say you want to delete everything from the declaration of public vote, max health. So basically what you're going to do is just highlight this part right here. Take that out, go back to the readme, copy everything from the region statement down to end region, copy, paste, and there you go, V character is done. One more thing we have to do is we have to go to the V third person, oops, okay, V third person controller. And in the readme, there's some code to copy. On this line right here, it says copy this. And we want to um, paste it anywhere in the awake method. So I'm gonna put it there. Once that's done, uh, I have no idea what that is. All right, so once that's done, uh, now you have to add a V survival player component, expand it, and let's initialize this max health to 100. I'm gonna fill in these variables here real quick. 200 here. And I'm not gonna mess with hunger and thirst right now. But uh, once that's set up, we also, oh, I also forgot a step. Forgot to, let's see, we could have personalized a script, survival system, demos, not demos. Vector add-on GUI, we're going to add the survival system prefab. This will give you a health bar and a stamina bar. Okay, once that's done, you're uh, all
all set. The character moves. I didn't add a footstep system, but oh well. Character moves, and if we get into this little area here, his health starts going down. And if you actually take a look into the uh, third person controller, we have a statistics window right here. It displays your current health, and um, it actually also displays your current stamina as we move. And the uh, delays work. And I am not sure why health is not regenerating. Let's see, let me put that at two. Should regenerate the health. I probably didn't update it in the code, but um, I'll update it when I export the package. But as you can see, when we take the health, should kill the character. There you go, he's dead. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do to set up the controller. Um, there are quite a few bugs, but um, please, if there are any bugs, just um, contact me here. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys found this helpful.